All right, so let's take it out. Ready? Go. That doesn't sound good. Wow. But this is how Ryobi used to be, and this is how they are now. Let's take this out. All right, so ready, go. So much better. All right, so what we are gonna do today is we are gonna test out the brand new Ryobi HP impact driver. All right, so like I said, in all my HP tools that I got that are the full size, I was unable to buy these until recently. So I'm glad I was finally able to buy this. This is actually at my store. I saw it, I had to get it. And since I already have a four amp hour HP battery, now considering the size of these, these do not have 21,700 cells of them, which I think they should. So let's unbox this, look at the specs, test this out and see how this could actually do. Now, when it comes to this video, I am not gonna bust some nuts. We're just gonna do the log. So let's unbox this bad boy. Now, when I saw, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw a picture of this uh, a while ago, I thought it looks, I thought it looked dumb. So let's see on how they designed this. I do love the green and black. That actually doesn't look that bad. That actually, does, it, it looks better than I thought it would be. I love the rubber molding that they put on the side of their tools instead of just a sticker. As you can see, there is a raise right there. So I love that. Like I said, this is my own PBL ID02. This has four speed modes, uh, zero to 4,000 impacts per minute and zero to 2,900 RPM with 2,200 inch pounds of torque. And so, yeah, I love the green and black. I love it. They like, I, Ryobi, you need to make a new version of your uh, power inflator. I, this is my most used tool and I want a new version of it. That's not bad that it's speed three, auto, one, two, and three. And yes, you could adjust the speed as you're using the tool, which I think is cool. That's awesome. All right, the battery is full. We'll check the battery life at the end of the video. The, and yes. Ooh, this one does not. That is interesting. All right, so this one, does. this tool does not have the special connectors on the back, uh, on the back of the base. But as you can see, the HP hammer drill the, the new version, which this is metal, I, I, this is actually a decent hammer drill. As you see, it does have the special connections in the back, and so does the, the 600 foot-pound impact wrench. It has the connections in the back as well, but this one does not. That is absolutely interesting. You know, that's where you want the HP power the most is the impact drivers. Actually, you want the HP power for all of them, so that's actually a huge disappointment that they are not on here. I am majorly disappointed with that. Majorly disappointed, because as you can see, brand new, the H, the brand new HP 4 amp hour battery has the special connectors on the back, but that tool does not. That is a downer for me. Is the collet pushing? Yes, it is. The collet is pushing. That is on there. Just adjust the collet to take it out. Ooh, it, it, it actually ejects out. So there you go. So let's put this in the log and see what this can do. And of course it has the Ryobi three year limited warranty on it as well. Alrighty, so one more time, the battery is full. I do love the design of this. All right, so what we're gonna do, at first we're gonna try out some timber locks, some one eighth inch lags, and a, a six inch specs. And then we're gonna move on to the half inch lags and see how well this actually performs. All right, so let's actually go with the specs first. We're gonna do one. We're gonna do one specs, one, one eighth inch timber lock and two, uh, one. All right, so we're gonna do one six inch specs, one uh, eighth inch lag and two eight inch timber locks. I'm actually curious on how well this works and we're gonna try the auto mode. All right, so ready, go. 
Not bad. It is a, it is a little loud. It is a little loud, but that's not bad. Let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. We are going to try the automatic on one of the lag on one of the timber locks. We'll do it in a tough spot. Right here is a dense area. Let's try this. Little balancing act. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby. I will. I, I will say again. It is a little loud. It is. But most impact drivers are loud. All right. So ready? Go. Time. All right, let's do one timber lock on speed three, then we'll do uh, the other timber, another timber lock on auto mode, and we'll see how auto works. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's take it out. Ready, go. I do not know what the time is until I edit the video, but now let's switch this over to auto. Let's see on how auto works in forward and reverse. Ready, go. That's a disappointment. I was hoping that it would actually stop once it felt like it wasn't going in anymore. Let's take it out. This isn't time, this is just testing the auto. Ready, go. Time. All right, so it did not use full force during any of that. It, uh, I guess the computer measured on the torque it needed and it gave the necessary torque without overpowering it. That's interesting. All right, so we're gonna do a four inch lag and an eight inch lag, uh, a four inch lag and a six inch lag. Let's see how well this goes. I'm hoping that it's able to do it easily. Right here is good. It's on speed three. All right, so ready, go. Time, it did it. Not too, that, that actually wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Like I said, you guys got to give Ryobi more credit than how they used to be. They're actually a good company now. They're actually making some pretty good stuff. I mean, there's a huge difference between these two. Huge difference. This is garbage. I used this once in a video and it barely could do anything. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, do, let's do one lag with these really quick. We'll share the battery as well. All right, so that's the time for the, the new HP. Let's do the old. Ryobi. I'll, I'll be amazed. I used this once or twice since I bought it a few years ago, and I'll be amazed if it doesn't fry out. All right, this is what I mean by you guys need to give Ryobi more props because they, they, like, there's a huge difference between these two. This is bigger, it's brushed, and it's garbage. This is smaller, brushless, and it's actually pretty decent. So let's uh, do a f another four inch lag with this. Uh, this is variable trigger only. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. And that's all I can do. That's it. That's all I can do.
Like I said, like that's why like Rio people think Ryobi is like this still. They're not. That's where it stops again. Garbage. Let's give it a break. And this is with a 4 amp hour, uh, like a, a new battery. All right, let's continue. Let's see if we can do it. That's where it stops again. That might be done this time. Yep, that's done this time. All right, so let's take it out. Ready? Go. That doesn't sound good. Wow. That didn't sound good at all. Hey, it did it though. But this is how Ryobi used to be, and this is how they are now. Let's take this out. All right, so ready? Go. So much better. So much better. This is garbage. And this is not. This thing is actually pretty bad. This is actually pretty awesome. It looks good too. So yeah, so like this, this is the difference between the two when it comes to the new versus old. All right, this is how people think Ryobi is, but this, this is how they really are now. Like there's a huge difference between old school and new school Ryobi. So Ryobi is no longer this kind of company. Ryobi now is this kind of company. And as you can see, there is a major difference on the way they look as well. So like the, the, the engineers did a fantastic job making the new HP tools. And even when it comes to the ones that came out a few years ago, I mean, this one is a lot bigger, brushless HP, a lot bigger than the new one. And so uh, the Versus video coming up against these two, I have so many combinations of I got to do with Versus videos on this. I wanted the first Versus video to be against these two. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. <music>